Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, so the weekend is almost over. I hope you had a great one. Uh, I enjoyed mine quite immensely. Uh, I took Friday off work, so I had a nice three-day weekend. Took the kids fishing yesterday morning, had a good time. Uh, been spending a lot of time, though, with a new addition to our family. We, uh, <laughs> I found a uh, kitten at work underneath one of the cars in the parking lot with a broken leg. And so nobody was going to do anything with it. They were just going to leave it there, so I scooped it up and... Uh, had my wife come grab it from me at work and she took it to the vet and unfortunately had a broken leg and after looking at the x-rays the vet determined that the leg needed to be amputated so we now have a three-legged kitten running around our house that we are trying to keep from going completely crazy and re-injuring its leg or tearing stitches open or whatever but it's definitely worth it one of the cutest little one of the cutest little things i've ever seen so we're uh, we're in love with her already but Aside from that, it was a good weekend, and uh, it's been a little too short, like always, but I figured I needed to sit down. It's been about two weeks and get another video out here. So here we are. Um, we are on my Arctic setup, and this is the DK window manager. Um, if we open up a terminal here, you can see I'm running Arctic Linux with the D in it and it system. I'm on 5.1.16, and I have 119 or 919 packages. Um, and about 49 updates to go. So um, I wanted to talk today about a tool that I have used in a one or two scripts um, that I really want to start utilizing more um, just because it's such a cool tool. Um, if I go ahead and clear the screen here um, and I run my windows.sh script, you can see I get this nice little menu that comes up and I have um, workspace here and I have what is open on that workspace and I have the option to kill or cancel. Now, I created this script a while ago to actually show me what I had open on what workspace because I am very bad about remembering what I have on each workspace. Um, I just, I open stuff up. I don't like to have a lot of things on one workspace, you know, one, two, maybe three windows tops on a workspace. And so then I'll go to another workspace and I'll open something there. So I created this script to handle that. And in doing so, I used this tool called WMCTRL. So if we escape out of there and we man WMCTRL and hit enter, you can see it is basically just a tool that interacts with X, compatible X window managers, um, EWMH and NetWM compatible window managers. Um, you can do anything from getting information from windows to raising windows to minimizing windows um, you can close windows you can do all kinds of stuff i highly suggest you go ahead and install it it should be in your repo it's wmctrl and go ahead and take a read through the man page um, there's a lot of information here and there's a lot of different flags you can use um, right now i use the wmctrl-l flag to list what's open on what workspace that's how i get that uh, menu but today i want to talk about another um, another flag that uh, WMCTRL uses that has kind of made my workflow a little bit better. So let's go ahead and close that real quick and I am going to go ahead and launch the Brave browser. Now you can see I've got Brave browser and I've got it launched on workspace number one. Now there's a lot of tools that I use like my terminals and stuff like that that I want as many of them open as possible. When I'm using a terminal, I usually like to leave a terminal open and run my commands in that. And then if I need a terminal again, a lot of times I can open one up and not be concerned about it. I really don't care how many terminals I have open. I have scratchpad terminals. I have regular terminals. I got all kinds of stuff. File managers, um, same way. Uh, open the file manager, being in one directory and then one file manager, open it up again in another directory. So there's just there's certain things that I don't mind having multiple instances of running on my system. But there are some things that I do. I don't want five different web browsers running with a single tab open on each of them. I can use tabs in web browsers and I can only have one instance open. Well, like I said, I tend to forget what I have open on each individual workspace. So a lot of times I'll have three or four um, web browsers open because I'll open one and I'll move to a different workspace and I'll be doing something and then I'll have to, oh, I need to get into the web and I'll open another one and forget that I had the one open. And then before you know it, I've got all my tabs or all my workspace is full and I've got five or six different window manager, or um, excuse me, uh, web browsers open. And that becomes kind of a hassle because then you got to figure out, okay, which web browser did I have which tab opened on? So what I've done here is uh, if we go over to workspace two, let's go ahead and launch the terminal. Let's clear the screen and we're going to CD into DK and we are going to Vim into simple X hockey daemon RC. And we are going to go take a look at something here. Now you can see I've got my key bindings all set up here, but if we scroll down and actually let's just do a search for Brave and hit enter, you can see right here from my web browsers and Brave and Firefox, I have Alt 
plus shift plus B to launch Brave and Alt plus shift plus A to launch Firefox. Well, what do I have going on here? I have WMCTRL-A Brave and then two pipe symbols and then Brave and same goes for Firefox. I have WMCTRL-A Firefox, two pipe symbols, Firefox. What is going on here? Well, if you're familiar with bash scripting at all or with the bash language, you understand that the two pipe symbols means or. I want you to do something or something else and that or is these two pipe symbols. Well, what WMCTR-A is, is it actually looks for an instance of Brave already running. And if it does, it brings that one into focus. So right now you can see, if we go back over to Workspace 1, I have Brave up and going. Workspace 2 shows that if I hit Alt-Shift-B, it should open Brave for me. Well, let's go over to Workspace 4, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Alt-Shift-B. Now you might not have saw what happened, but if you look up here, I am back on Workspace 1 with the instance of Brave that is already running. So let's do JPEG Media, not JDP. Let's do JPEG, go to my website. And just to show you that I'm not doing any trickery here, we're going to go back over to Workspace 4 and I'm going to hit Mod Shift B again. And there we go. It takes me right back over there. If I go to Workspace 3 and I open Firefox, and then I go to Workspace 8 and I hit Firefox again, again, it takes me back over here to Workspace 3. Why is that? Because Alt Shift B and Alt Shift A run Window Manager Control or WMCTRL A, and then it looks for that instance running. And if that instance is running, if there is a Brave instance running, it just takes me to that Brave instance or that Firefox instance. If it does not see one running, then it opens Brave. So basically, WMCTRL looks for Brave. If it sees it, it takes me there or if it doesn't see it, it opens it. So just another way to keep me from having 15 different instances of Brave or Firefox or something running, I can use the WMCTRL command and or a tool and it will take care of that for me. So I just thought that was kind of neat. I just kind of wanted to show you that. And if you aren't using WMCTRL for things, um, I highly suggest you check it out because it is a very handy tool, whether you use it or not. Um, it's something that's really cool to play with and just kind of learn um, how you can handle and manipulate Windows um, in an X window system, you can't use it in Xorg, but or excuse me, in uh, Wayland. But in a um, X11, it will handle your window manager uh, windows, and you can manipulate them how you see fit. So I just kind of wanted to touch on that today, kind of go over that and show you what I've been kind of playing around with. And yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. So hopefully you guys found it interesting, and it's something you can maybe get some use out of. And I hope you enjoyed this. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. A great rest of your weekend. Enjoy the few hours left before the beginning of the work week and just stay safe. All right, everybody have a great weekend. God bless.